Hey there, Sorry here. Uh, so we're going to be doing some step up pulls. Going to be pulling to pity for uh, Heo and Panthera. You may be wondering. Wait a minute. You've you've got him. He's right there. I can see him. All right. You're not fooling me. I see I see Heo and Panthera right there. Uh, so um, I was I was up. I was woken up at, at 2 a.m. this morning, you know, as, as you do when you have a, a six-week-old uh, infant sleeping in the same room with you. Um, so while I was up, I, I decided to just go ahead and load up the, the game, you know, go ahead and download the uh, the maintenance package and whatnot, you know, have everything set up so that I could just get right into it this morning. Um, and then, you know, once I had everything loaded up, I was, I was tempted to do some pulls. I, I, I did not want to do the, the step up pulls though, cause I wanted to record those for you guys this morning. So I just threw some tickets at the banner. I threw about 40 tickets at the banner and got three Neos. The first one was Saz, which was kind of nice cause I don't have him. Second one was Genesis, which I'm very happy about cause that gets me, that basically guarantees I'm going to have EX3 Genesis today. Uh, and then the third one was Heo. <clears throat> and I was like, whoa, that's fantastic. So I have an EX0 Heo currently. You see, I've already got him in the shard, in my shard team. Uh, already level 130'd him. He's ready to go. Uh, so what that means is, you know, I'm, I'm still going to go to Pity. Uh, what that means is I'll be guaranteed an EX1 Heo. Hopefully I'll pick up a few more. Hopefully I didn't burn all my luck, um, doing, <laughs> you know, throwing those tickets this morning. I might have, might have burned up all my luck, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll get some, some, some more along the way to pity. So what that means, is it just takes the sting out of it. If I get skunked and I have to go to pity, I'm not going to be quite as sad about it because I already have one. All right. So, <clears throat> Um, and as usual, I'll do a, a quick review of these units. I always like to do a, a quick review. Um, both units are, are fairly solid. I will say I think he is the winner. Um, but it's definitely not a 2B, A2 situation, I don't think. <clears throat> um, we'll start with Heo because he's the one I'm most interested in. Uh, TMR is just um, typical 50% attack, 100% double hand, nothing too fancy. Um, his STMR is a fist, two-handed fist, uh, BIS for him. All right, uh, gives him a thousand static attack and gives him 50% demon human machine killer, which is nice because that's, you know, the current clash of wills, of course. So you put that on him and then you put uh, Bahamut Esper on him and he's basically capped all the killers for, for clash of wills, which is very nice. Um, <clears throat> of course, the biggest draw for Heo is the leader skill, right? 600% attack and mag to fire CW fire, CW ice, CW support. Very nice. In Clash of Wills, it's a 900% attack and mag, 750 defense and spirit. Again, to all fire units. So they don't have to be Clash of Wills fire units, which means Genesis gets to come to Clash of Wills. Uh, CW fire, CW ice, CW support. So a nice spread of units there. Um, <clears throat> in his normal form, he is... Uh, he's. He, I'm going to say he's mostly a breaker. It does say physical attacker because he does do physical damage. Um, his normal LB has a, a 150 fire in peril, 35% great sword in peril, 87% full break, and does you know a, a decent modifier. It's nothing too it's nothing too great. You're not going to be using this for his primary damage, but it does something. Keep in mind it's a one hit finisher. <clears throat> um, but yeah, he's mostly a breaker in this form. I'll just I'll just say that, and and mostly a clash of wills breaker. You're not going to use him as a dedicated breaker in content outside of clash of wills. I don't think his breaks just are not that strong. Um, but he does have one very strong break inside of clash of wills, which we'll get to. Um, so his trust mastery, all right, just gives him you know his omni killer, all of the stuff. It also turns his normal attack into a perfect dispel. So if you ever want to set him up for counters uh, to perfect dispel the boss, that's something you can do there. <clears throat> he of course can imbue himself with the fire, 60% amp. That's great. We can also do the same thing with ice at 45%. Uh, they are on cooldowns, and he can only on demand imbue fire. So keep that in mind. <coughs> um. This just does uh, an attack and defense buff with some general mitigation for himself, which is kind of nice, and gives him three stacks of Mirage with some LB fill. Does not do an LB mod boost, but it does do an LB damage boost. Uh, we'll talk about um, needing or, or maybe not needing mod boost uh, later when we get to his Bray Shift form. <clears throat> Refined Stance, this does a 40% Greatsword and Fist in peril. So you can give him a Fist in his normal form, you can give him his STMR in his normal form as well, uh, because he does have the 40% fist in peril here. <laughs> All right, so so yeah, just keep that in mind. You don't have to give him a great sword in his normal form. Um, does some LB fill, does a break removal, 
Uh, Daunting Aura is his uh, Imperil Field. So it does a 40% fire, 30% ice for five turns. It is on demand, so keep that in mind. Also does 100% fire and ice buff and some LB fill. So a lot of his moves fill his LB so that the idea is you want to, you know, basically drop his LB as frequently as possible. Ultimate Flame is his 150 amp. You can only get this at EX2, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> um, but what's nice about this is they also gave him this ability, Mighty Flame. It says 60%, but that's because you have to upgrade it with four to sites, and they, they don't automatically do that on this screen. So once you upgrade it with uh, to level five with four to sites, it becomes a 100% amp. This is really nice because it's an extra uh, it's an extra strong self amp for himself, um, and it's accessible right at EX zero. So if you don't have if you've only got like an EX one heo, <clears throat> but you still want a strong amp this is what you're going to use, right? Until you get him to EX2, and then you can use this. What's nice is that this means you can give him a strong amp for more than just one burst if you need to. Really, really handy. He also has these breaker abilities. This, these are just some chaining abilities um, with like standard breaks, 85% attack and defense, um, 85 mag and spirit on this one. They're both bolting strike, they're whatever. They do fill his LB. You can see like everything fills his LB here, and they do fill morale. <clears throat> This is the full break, 83%, which is whatever. It's a tag team attack. Mirror of Equity chains. Um, fills his LB and does morale fill. So, yeah. Um, Omni Killer is at EX2 only, but this is like all premium units. Once you have him at EX2, he has 200% to all killers, making him very easy to gear for killers. <coughs> this ability is really nice. So at EX2, again, this is an EX2 ability, he gets chain limit boost, and that finishes his chain his chain cap right there. So he's he's got six times chain cap once he's EX2, thousand static attack, uh, null to stop and charm, which is very nice. This is uh, basically his warring spirit ability, which fills his LB on turn one. Has to be EX2, of course. Does some morale fill. So uh, on the first turn, it does 300 morale fill, and then every turn, an extra 300 morale there. Uh, these are his morale abilities, so Crimson Undermine. This is fantastic, an 89% full break with a 160% fire imperil, meaning in Clash of Wills, his, his highest fire imperil is 200% if you include the 40% imperil field. So a 200% fire imperil, fantastic. Outside of Clash of Wills, uh, it's only uh, 190 because his, his LB does a 150 in peril and then the 40% in peril field. So 190 in peril outside of Clash of Wills, 200% in Clash of Wills. But this is really fantastic. Now keep in mind it's a five turn cooldown uh, with a three turn, <clears throat> uh, on, only a three turn uptime. So it does not have full uptime. However, you could use someone like Melissa with her SLB to, uh, to uh, reduce the cooldown time by two turns and effectively make this full uptime. Whether or not you want to dedicate a slot to Melissa to do that, probably not, but that is an option you can you can do to keep this full uptime. Um, he also has the Blaze Weapon, which is the 100% rolling amp. This is fantastic. I love this. This is one of the reasons why I want to pull for him for the AoE amp. Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, and then it just gives him guts. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Mask Swordsman, these are just all of his standard buffs. He does have 50% physical evasion, which is nice. Um, also, uh, he's got 200% passive LB damage. There's the initial chain cap boost, so he starts out at a 5 times cap. You can get him to 6 times innately at EX2. And some chain ramp speed, which is always nice. Plus 15% MP restore, that's always really nice. You can triple cast all this stuff too. All right, <clears throat> in his brace shift form, he's mostly just damage. You see a lot of these skills are repeated, but you've got these new skills like Guard Claw. Okay, um, these just do mitigations for himself. These are these are replacing the break skills, uh, and these do some mitigations for himself, which is kind of like whatever. I wish they were mitigations for the whole party, but you know it is what it is. Bit selfish. Oop, not want to do that. Shield Claw. So these are just machine and human mitigations for himself. One chains Mirror of Equity, the other chains Bolting Strike. And then he's got these two unique skills here, um, these cooldown skills. <clears throat> um, you basically can just use it, you know, once per turn. Cannot be multicasted. Uh, this one does triple Mirror of Equity. Gives him uh, a, a accuracy boost. 200% Human Killer. 
uh, buff for five turns, and then does a um, a 4,000 times modifier in Clash of Wills against humans. Has to be against humans to get the full modifier. That's 2,500 times outside of Clash of Wills against humans. Uh, you're really just using this for the buff, the killer buff, probably. Um, this one is a 200% machine killer buff, and against machine type enemies, again, 4,000 times modifier against machine type enemies with Bolting Strike. Do note that both of these abilities take a full LB gauge to cast, so you, you're you basically deciding, do I want to use this, or do I want to use his LB? Most cases, you're going to want to use his LB, because his Brave Shift LB is bonkers, alright? So, first of all, it's a tag team, uh, tag chaining move, um, Extreme Nova, so 30 hits, tag chaining, fantastic, it is AoE, awesome, comes with a 35% fist in peril, which is great, you know, in case your 40% when expires or gets dispelled, and then it starts at a 650 times modifier, now that's standard for premiums, uh, for premium units these days, however, it's only standard for premium units for the first five turns, most premium units get a 650 times modifier after a mod boost, and after the preemptive LB boost, which only lasts for the first five turns. Heo doesn't need any of that. He doesn't need any mod boost. He says, who cares? I don't need mod boosts. I don't need preemptive LB boost. I'm just going to start at the 650, and I'm going to keep doing 650 times modifier forever. Doesn't matter how long the fight takes, I'm going to keep doing a 650 times LB mod. That is just bonkers. Uh, so that is fantastic. It, it, it's going to be great, um, especially like in Dark Visions. Like, if you have a rotation that takes longer than five turns, um, he, he's, still, he's still hitting, you know, his top damage. Fantastic. In Clash of Wills, that goes up to 845 times modifier, which is just insane. Uh, he is competing with Iabrea, probably competing with Genesis uh, for top damage spot on this Clash of Wills. So for those of you that didn't pick up Iabrea, like me, I, I did not pick up Iabrea. <clears throat> I got very unlucky. I, I spent a lot of tickets on her, but did not get her. So I'm very happy to pick up Hio because he's going to be uh, Hio, He's going to be very very strong. All right, and that's pretty much Heo in a nutshell. Very strong damage dealer, competent breaker in Clash of Wills. <clears throat> I hope I, I don't run out of my voice here. I can feel it already. All right, so um, we've got Frosty here. Frosty is an SLB unit, which for me kind of puts, you know, it's a point against him in my opinion. Um, his normal LB <clears throat> does, you know, like a typical breaker. 87% defense and spirit break with a, a small imperil, katana imperil, which is nice. But the modifier is actually pretty decent for a, a dedicated breaker. 450 times, he does get a 50 times mod boost um, to that. Uh, so a 500 times modifier outside of Clash of Wills, which is pretty strong for a breaker. So, um, and then his SLB, all right, starts at a 500 times modifier. Again, add that 50 times modifier boost for a 550 outside of Clash of Wills quite strong. Um, his SLB is very nice, 89% defense and spirit break. Um, doesn't come with an ice imperil, but that's okay. He has that elsewhere. 40% katana imperil, which is nice, and an LB damage buff, which is whatever, usually using an external buff anyways. Um, you see that that goes up to 650 in Clash of Wills. We'll talk about the mod boost uh, later. Standard breaker kit, you know, he's got his bursting break, which is your AOE break. Uh, breakdown, which is your single target. <clears throat> um, IC accretions is 150 amp. He has to be EX2 to get that. He does not have the nice little 100% amp like Heo got. Whatever. Icebreaker is his ice field. That's a 40% imperil field for five turns on demand. Um, Defiant Blade does an attack and mag break with some LB fill and uh, morale fill. Um, Elusive Blade uh, does accuracy down. Only 30%, which is kind of meh. You know, you've got like Kaito who can do 50% basically on demand, but whatever. <clears throat> um, this is his ice imbue with 60% amp. Uh, he can also imbue himself with dark with a 45% amp, but can only on demand ice. Okay, so keep that in mind. Anthro guard is a human killer buff with uh, some mitigations to humans for himself. Demon guard, 200% demon killer with mitigations to himself. I wish they had made these AOE. <clears throat> it makes these units very selfish when they're only for only self buffs. Katana Flick is an interesting one. It has a perfect dispel with a decent modifier on it. All right. Uh, now, it is... Uh, you can only use it every other turn. 
just keep that in mind. But in Clash of Wills, it, it hits a pretty decent modifier, um, and you can, you're obviously going to be chaining it with other things, right? So uh, the total modifier when you chain it with some of the other things is probably decent. So this is the mod boost. <clears throat> it does a 50 times mod boost outside of Clash of Wills, up to 150 times in Clash of Wills to all of his morale scaling damage. And then for his LB, it's the same thing. 50 times mod boost outside of Clash of Wills, 150 inside of Clash of Wills, which means his Brave, or sorry, his uh, SLB is a an 800 times modifier in Clash of Wills <clears throat> and a 550 times mod outside of, Cla outside of Clash of Wills. <clears throat> which is really good for a breaker. Like, for a dedicated breaker, that is really good modifier. So, you know, most breakers are doing really crap damage. Uh, he's, he's doing really good damage, and he has uh, he has the 89% on-demand defense and spirit break with 150 ice and peril, meaning his, his total ice and peril is 190% uh, in peril, if you include his imperil field. Um, and he can use this twice. Most breakers can only use it once. It's nice that he can use this one twice. Uh, so honestly, like, you know, if, if you get him, you're probably going to use him in Dark Visions as your breaker because he he's going to bring the breaks. You might need to, if you're not using an ice team, you might need to bring somebody else as your Imperial team. But like, if you have Heo, like put Heo and Frosty together on the same team. And Heo, uh, Heo will supply your Imperils. Um, Frosty supplies the breaks, and he's going to be dealing decent damage even outside of Clash of Wills. So he, he, he's, he's a pretty solid unit. Um, I was worried this was going to be like an A2, 2B situation, but I don't think it is. I think they're, they're, he is, I think, still the winner, but, um, Frosty is definitely a good unit. All right. So let's get, uh, get started with these. I'm just going to do the, the regular step up all the way to pity so i'm going to do four laps and then one extra step to get my 17th pity ticket and that's it that's all i'm doing okay i'm hoping i pull a heel along the way maybe i'll get a frosty <clears throat> um and then yeah let's just let's see what we get all right let's do some pulls guys i'm excited all right don't lose the connection now All right, I'm only going to let it drop if it's a Neo. <clears throat> Let's see how we do. First step. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> a whole lot of Garbo on the first step. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Long connection. All right, so... Um, so getting, getting the Pity for Hayo is going to cost 58,500 Lapis. <clears throat> if you decide you want to go for the Special Vision card, it's going to cost you 70,000, all right? So just keep that in mind. Hey, wrong Heo. Come on. <laughs> I don't want the five star. Give me, give me the new one. What is this? All right, so this is the guaranteed with like a 2% rate. I have pulled the banner unit on this Neo before. Uh, with Wondrous Flash Lightning, who was actually the last... Speaking of, Wondrous Flash Lightning was the last unit I actually spent Lapis on. So I have I have spent zero Lapis in this game until now. All right, I've been saving up since Wondrous Flash Lightning. Was able to save up, uh, you know, uh, as you can see, Bart's, whatever, Garbo. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, this is like the fourth one of these. I've gotten so many of this one and none of the other two. There's a So there's a water card with the there's the water card the one with bahamut and there's the uh the ice one the esper and e spear i have not seen a single one of those but i've pulled like four of these the earth card uh, i mean I, I won't say no to another 170 card but i don't need four of them like seriously i don't have that many earth units like what oh my gosh whatever all right <clears throat> come on heal All right, I might have used up all my luck on my tickets at 2 a.m. this morning. God, I hate these. I hate. I hate those all rainbow ones. All right, so can I? All right, this is another guaranteed with a five percent rate. All right, let's see how we do. 
<clears throat> Watch that Neo come down. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, just the guaranteed. Oh, I've already got you an EX3, girl. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, I was hoping that was going to upgrade all the way. Oh well. Okay, so wow. First lap, we're only guaranteed Neos, and they were both garbage. Well, I, I shouldn't say Melissa, Melissa's not garbage. For me, she is because I have her EX3, and so that's useless. Uh, but Melissa is actually a very good unit to get if you don't have her uh, or don't have her to EX3. Because she is extremely useful in Clash of Wills, I am probably going to use her in the current Clash of Wills. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is not looking good. I definitely used up all my luck this morning on my tickets. <clears throat> Gumi said, up. Oh, we see you pulled a, a Heo with some tickets, so we're going to make sure we don't give you anything on your step-up pulls. Really appreciate that, Gumi. Thank you. Oh, there we go. There's a Neo in the wild. What's it going to be? All right. You know, I don't have her. I don't have her, so I, I will, I'll take it. Um, I'm, I'm always interested in, in new units. Um, I think she's pretty strong for ice teams, so if I do end up pulling uh, Frosty at some point, you know, I might be able to use her. Oh, and I got, <laughs> whoa, nice. Look at that. How, how fortuitous is that like the the esper and e spear card at the same time that i pull siren ish like that, that that's is that is that a coincidence is it that feels that feels like that's too much of a of a coincidence um so yeah so this one is locked to uh to ice category units um <clears throat> it is only mag and spirit so the, the, the times you'll use this would obviously be on, on Ish. Uh, it's obviously designed for, for Siren Ish. You could also use it on, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and favorite it. You could also use it on, um, the, what am I thinking? Elena, the new Elena, because it has 170 spirit on it. So Elena will definitely like this card. Interesting, interesting. All right. All right, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> all right, I don't mind that pull at all. I don't mind that at all. All right, this is the guaranteed. 2% chance that it's a banner unit. <clears throat> Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I got trolled by Bartz on the first one. <clears throat> What's this one going to be? Oh my god, Deferdy. Wow. That's some serious trollage right there. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Diverti. <clears throat> that was an epic troll. Okay. Let's, let's get this moving here. Let's move this train along. Oh, there's another Neo in the wild. All right. Who's it going to be? Yeah! All right! Another Heo! Woo! -hoo! Man, I might actually be able to get him to EX2. Uh, actually, no, I'll be short, because I'll be short 20 shards. So I, I have one right now. This guarantees EX1. The pity will be 50 shards plus 30 from login. Yeah, I'll be 20 shy. So if I get another Heo before pity, then that'll be guaranteed EX2. But all right. <clears throat> so that just means uh, he'll have to sit in the shard dungeon for, for a bit. But that's awesome. That's awesome. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. I'm I'm feeling really good about these these pulls now. So it, it took <laughs> it took going through that first that fir first lap of pure garbage uh, to get to the good stuff. But that's all right. All right. So this is another guaranteed Neo five percent chance that it's on banner. <clears throat> Just the guaranteed, yep. Okay, I mean, look, you know, I, I love Final Fantasy IV, right? So Cecil and Rosa, uh, Kane, Rydia, Edge, like all those 
All those units are, are some of my favorite units. Rosa's really strong against dragons and reapers for killers. You know, she's got the 250% killers to dragons and reapers. She's definitely not a bad unit to have um, to have in your inventory, but not the unit I wanted to see. Because I, I already have her EX2, and honestly, like, there's no reason to care about having her EX3. EX2 is more than enough. So that's kind of that's kind of useless for me. But Rose is a good unit, and, and like I said, love Final Fantasy IV, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk bad about Rosa. <clears throat> All right, so this is the start of the third lap. So two more full laps, um, and then the the one step on the fifth lap to get my pity. Nope, that's not gonna change. <clears throat> I was hopeful for a second there. Okay. All right, let's see what we get here. Ooh, a Neo in the wild. I like it. Oh, Laguna. Ugh. Don't give me that garbage. Come on. Oh, oh no. Oh, well. Uh, okay. I mean, look, look, Laguna's, you know, a decent water breaker, I guess, but, you know, that's not the unit I wanted. <laughs> that's not the unit I wanted. Hey, that's my first squall. <clears throat> um, you know, too bad I've got Tyvus, so, like, you know, I, my light teams are now, <laughs> like... Ty Tyvus pretty much takes care of my light team. I don't really need Squall anymore, but all right, that's cool. Oh, another Esper and E-Spear card. Oh, nice. Now if I have Ish and uh, Elena on the same party, they, they each have a card. That's nice. All right. Yep, that's my first Squall. <laughs> we know. Okay, wow. So I, I, I went, I started off complaining about not getting any of the new vision cards other than the earth card and now i've gotten two of the ice card uh which is pretty great now i just need i just need the water card although honestly i don't have anybody i would use it on i i suppose i would use it on kaito um yeah i'd use it on kaito and i guess i would use it on um what's his name the the water tank ject yeah i could use it on my ject i guess Although I have his card, and his card honestly is, is better because it's got more HP on it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe the water card's not really all that impressive. So I've I've gotten the I've gotten the good ones. Let's just say that. <clears throat> Whoa, three Neos! Hey, Frosty, how you doing, buddy? All right, cool deal. All right, so I've got one of each, which is awesome. All right, let's see what these are. Oh man, I've got you EX3 already. I mean, that's not a bad pull. I mean, Cloud Strife is still very, very strong, especially on Lightning teams. Like, still really good unit for, for Dark Visions uh, on Lightning teams. But yeah, I already got you EX3, buddy. So that's that's not helping me. That's not helping me. <clears throat> Ooh, another Frosty. All right, so I've got an EX1 Frosty now. Sweet. And I'm definitely picking up two of his STMRs. Uh, yeah, because those STMRs are, are bonkers for the killers alone. All right, so that's two of his STMRs I've got. Wow, nice. Okay. These, the, these step-up pulls, I'm, I'm liking. I'm liking. All right, one more lap. And then I've got... Uh, uh, let's see, one more lap and then one step. <clears throat> right? All right, yeah, this one's always been... That first step's always been pretty garbage for me, hasn't it? All right. <clears throat> All right. I would love one more Heo, if you got one. That way I have EX2 Heo on day one. I would love it. 
It's maybe too much to ask, but... Yo, that's a Neo! Oh, oh, who's it gonna be? Oh, I mean... <laughs> I, I only say that because I have him EX3 already. He, he's a he's still a solid unit in Dark Visions for on Ice Teams, and, you know, if you have Frosty, he's gonna be really, really strong on Ice Teams and Dark Visions. Um, might even be useful in Clash of Wills, I don't know. Uh, if, if you have Frosty, he might be useful, but, um, yeah, no. that That's not useful for me. Um, but he is technically on banner, I guess. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this is the free one with the two two percent rate. Who's it gonna be? Who's the troll gonna be here? <laughs> that's that's pretty troll tastic. That's pretty troll tastic. A good STMR. Um, you know, he, he's definitely TMR, STMR fodder. <clears throat> um, his TMR, I think, is is nice because it, it's got a decent attack stat, but it's got 100% HP. So if you need to, like, bulk up your uh, your damage dealer, it's got 100% HP on it, which is nice. And then his STMR has the beast killers on it. God, I hate these all rainbow pulls, really. Like, very rarely do I see a Neo on those. All right, so one more guaranteed... With a 5% rate. <clears throat> Who's it going to be? One more Heo, please. One more Heo. Ooh, two Neos. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I mean... You know, on light teams, she's um, she's decent. Like, I could potentially use her on um, on like a light team in Dark Visions or Vision World um, with my my Tyvis because she is an Evoker, so she would get the um, she would get the leader skill from from Tyvis, and she does the light in peril field um, <clears throat> on her LB. It's like a thirty five percent light in peril field, so not too bad. Um, I think I think that still means she's shy of EX two for me though. I've got an EX one Quistus. Or Keistus, I don't know how you say it. All right. Uh, who is this? Another Frost. Wow. Wow. Okay. Three Frosties. So <clears throat> that means he's going to be very close to EX2 for me as well. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. So both Heo and Frosty, um, I'm going to have at almost to EX, uh, EX2. <clears throat> wow. Okay. That is that is really exciting. All right, so just one more one more step. Um, this is all I need to get to uh, pity for heal. Yep, no neos. Not surprised. That step has always been garbage for me. All right, <clears throat> all in all, I'm very happy. <clears throat> that means with the pity, with the pity, um, which I'm going to go ahead and pick up now, um, exchange shot, <clears throat> with the pity I'll have three Heos and three, uh, three, what's his names, Frosties. Alright, where is the, where's the shot, where's the shot? Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so yep, I want my Heo. Very cool. Um, yeah, wow, nice. Okay, um, and then in that shop, I'm also going to go ahead and pick up some shards for Genesis. Actually, I might wait on the shards for Genesis um, because I think I'm I think I'm going to throw some more tickets at the banner later. I'm not going to show you ticket pulls because those are obnoxious, like one pull every turn. But I think I might throw some more tickets to try and get one more heal. And if I get another Genesis along the way, I don't want to waste uh, waste coins on the frags when I could be using them on like on saws. Actually, uh, I could go ahead and just use them on saws because I, I I pulled him, so I might as well just go ahead and get um, get his shards. I might as well go ahead and get Ish's shards, too, while I'm at it. <clears throat> All right. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, I'll just wait and see on Genesis. All right, very cool. Um, now, I do have some free free pulls. Well, I, 
really just the one free pull. Um, the the weekly 14 plus one. I'll go ahead and do that one for you guys just to celebrate, you know, one more one more guaranteed Neo so we can see what what we get. <clears throat> All right, the final pull. What's it going to be? <laughs> Just the guarantee, yep. Left, yeah. I've already got you EX2, and honestly, like, there's not really much point to bothering getting you to EX3. You're not that strong. Um, I did use her on a light team <clears throat> with my Tyvus, though, um, but they're definitely better options. And that doesn't surprise me at all. One Neo. Um, do we have any other tickets here? Oh, I've got these two. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and do these two as well. Why not? And then we'll call it a day. Um, because I've got to go have some fun with, uh, with Heo and, and Frosty and Clash of Wills. <clears throat> Sadly, it means, uh, ooh, a uh, Neo. They're both going to be shy of EX2 until I can get the shards from the shard dungeon. Oh, Sukiko, come on. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, look, Sukiko is still not a bad unit, but, you know, I've had her EX3 for, like, a year now. All right, let's see what we get. All right, no more Neos, unless one of these upgrades. No. All right, well, that was it. But, you know, all in all, a very, very satisfying haul. Um, I, I'm not going to complain at all uh, about these pulls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my Frosty. I'm going to replace mid. I had mid in there just because I was like, oh, maybe I can build a win team because I have Avon, but um, I honestly don't care. Solitary. There we go. I'll put this guy in there. Very good. I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and enhance him. Awesome. Okay. So he's ready to go. And uh, yeah. Awesome. 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 I'm, I'm loving it. So that means I'm only 20 shards away from EX2 on both of both of these units, which is just a really fantastic position to be in. Um, do I wish I could have them EX2 right away? Yes. Uh, well, like I said, I'm going to throw some more tickets at the banner later on today and, and hope to get one more Heo. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy. So very satisfied with these pulls. And um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I, I'm going to be doing some, some Clash of Wills clears for you guys later on. Don't know if I'll get to a rank one today. I usually don't do rank one on day one. I just, I'm not that type of player. Um, but who knows, Heo may be strong enough that I can get it done easy peasy. We'll just have to wait and see. Like I said, I need to get them EX2 anyways to be able to do that. So it really just depends on, on you know, how my luck goes with the ticket pulls. Uh, but yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm very, very happy, and uh, definitely stay tuned for some Clash of Wills Level 99 No Mods Clears videos coming out later today. Thank you guys so much for following me, and I will see you on the other side.